Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 28 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can access Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 account using account query from Azure Databricks notebook. So before watching this video, I will strongly encourage you watch my previous videos. Why? Because in, in this video, I am going to use Databricks CLI. Okay. So there is something called a Databricks CLI, which we have discussed in our past videos. And also we have discussed about creating secret scopes. We created a secret scope which is backed by Azure Key Vault. And also we created a secret scope which is also backed by Databricks itself. Okay. So watch all those videos to get more sense of this video. Why? Because in this video there are a couple of steps. Firstly, since I want to access this data like storage Gen2 account using the account key, what I will be taking? I will be taking a account key from the storage account. And I will take this account key into Azure Key Vault storage and inside the Azure Key Vault storage I will save it as a secret. And then in the Azure Databricks what I am going to do is I am going to create a secret scope secret scope that is uh, uh, backed by Azure Key Vault. Why? Because I want to access a secret which contains my account key information inside the secret of the Azure Key Vault. So using this secret scope and using this secret I, I will try to access that uh, account key information in my notebook and then thereby I will try to connect to my ADLS Gen2 account and then I will try to read the data from it or whatever I want to perform I can do it. So if you are not making sense of it let's practically implement this and understand this. So firstly how firstly anytime if you want to access a storage account using account key inside the notebook you need to use this piece of code. What this piece of code is actually here it is doing. This is Spark is nothing but like think like your Spark session. We all know right. Notebooks will actually run on top of the clusters inside the Databricks. Cluster will contain the Spark software. Let's assume Spark is a software or an engine that can understand the notebooks and execute the logic accordingly. So whenever any notebook is getting executed on the cluster that means a Spark session is there. On the session I, am, I have to set the configurations with the account key. This is the key information fz.azure.account.key then your storage account name then dfs.core.windows.net for this key you need to supply the account key information here. Either you can hot code the account key information or you can store the account key information in the secret scope and from the secret scope access that account key information as you are seeing the code here. So what is secret scope and all I have discussed in my past videos right. So let me practically explain you this. So let's go to our browser. So this is my browser uh, here I have already opened my Azure portal. So let me do one thing. So I have a storage account called ADLS Mahir and inside this is ADLS Mahir Gen2 account there are some certain containers. So let me go to containers menu here. So there is a container called sample container. So if I open this sample container there is a folder called data folder and there is a file called employees.csv file. So let's assume I want to access this employee.csv file data in my uh, notebook. Okay, so to do that, let me go back to my storage account, which is ADLS Mahir. Firstly, how we are trying to access this storage account using account key in this video. In our future videos, we will try to see how to access it using the service principle and other methods as well. So now here, to get the storage account account key, what you need to do here, uh, once you come to the landing page of the storage account, go to access keys and here click this show keys. So whatever the key you are seeing here, this is account key of your storage account. Let's copy this storage account key. And let me go to notepad. I will keep this in one notepad for now. So let me paste this account. Sorry, control Z. Let me go back to my portal and then let me copy once again. I copied that account key information. So let me paste this here. Now let's go to Databricks account. So I have already opened my Azure Databricks and here uh, I, I opened a notebook called Notebook 1. There is a cluster called Test Cluster. So here, as I said, Whenever I want to access any storage account using account key, I should use this piece of code. So this piece of code will help you to set a value inside this key for the Spark session. So Spark will give the Spark session dot. Then if you search like there is something called config done, then there is some there will be something called set actually. So using this set, I need I can set a values for any keys. So in this case, for what is the storage account key and for that key I have to set the value. If you see the slide fs.azure.account.key then the storage account name then dfs.core.windows.net this is the key and my account key will be my uh, value there. So let me go to my notebook uh, sorry notepad. So here I have already copied this code let me copy this 
and let me go back to notebook and let me paste this code here see using this config set function i am setting a configurations for account key on the spark session and uh, i used my storage account name correctly here and here let's try to hard code our account key information first so i already copied my account key information into my notepad right so let me copy this control c and then let's go back to notebook let me paste it so if i execute this piece of code it is going to set the configuration for my adls gen2 account on the spark session the moment the configuration set with the help of this account key anyone can access that storage account very easily so now if i want to read a csv file on the spark session there is something called read attribute and the read attribute there is something called csv uh, function that will help you to access or read any data from a csv function so inside this csv function there is a uh, input parameter called path to this path i need to supply a path so for the instance of time i have already copied that information also you, you need to take this path in this format abf sss then the container name then the storage account name and then the full path see i want to read a data from the employees.csv file right so i am taking this entire path into my no databricks notebook and inside the notebook i pasted it and if you have remember inside this employees.csv file first row is header right so if i go back to my storage account and then if i go back to containers let me quickly show you the data once again sample container then data folder then employees.csv file right so let me hit this edit tab here to see the data inside this file see first row is header and all other rows are data mahir pradeep kranti and no okay so now let's go back to here so here there is another input parameter called header so to that header parameter i am setting value as true that means first row is header so whatever this code is there this code will actually read the data from the csv file and it will return the data back is in a data frame format so let's create a variable here called df and let's store the data frame into this df variable and then let's try to use this display function to display this data frame so let me hit shift enter to execute this code this code should work fine and it should be able to read the employees.csv file data successfully see we are able to read it successfully but as i was saying in my previous videos here we are hard coding this account key information we should not do that what we should do is we should keep this account key secretly in azure key vault storage or in the databricks secret scope so best way is store your secrets or credentials inside the azure key vault and then create azure key vault secret scope to access those secrets and get that values into your code accordingly so that is the best way to do it so now let's try to do that so for that what we need to do you need to have a azure key vault account first so if i go to home i have azure key vault account already called akv hyphen mahir and then here i am going to secrets menu to create a secret inside this secret i will be storing my adls gen2 account secret value uh, our account key value so let me hit this generate or import i am creating a new secret and let's try to name it like uh, uh, adls mahir ak that means account key then here i need to paste the account key value so let's go back to my notepad and let me copy my entire account key control c then here let me paste this and now let me hit this create button so what will happen with this name which is adls mahir ak a secret was created inside the key vault account called akv mahir and inside this secret my account key is actually stored so if i go inside the secret if i hit this show secret value i can see my account key information here so what i should do my databricks code should try to go inside this secret and try to read that account key and then set the configuration accordingly here i am hard coding the configuration right the next time it should set automatically so what i will do to do that so let's try to create a new notebook before that we have to so if any time if you want to access any secrets which is stored in the azure key vault then you need to create something called azure key vault secret scope right if you don't know what is azure key vault secret scope please watch my previous video and also for your idea think like secret scope is nothing like one account created so let's assume this is secret scope one okay and inside the secret scope you can create multiple secrets let's assume secret one then secret two then secret three like that and inside this secrets you will be having all your passwords information credentials informations and everything stored safely so in this case these secrets are inside the azure key vault in my case now to access the secrets which are inside the azure key vault you need to create something called azure key vault backed secret scope so we discussed what is azure key vault backed secret scope in our past video as well so let's try to do the same thing now so firstly let's try to open the azure databricks cli let's let me try to open a command prompt here 
CMD. So in our past video, I have already discussed what is command prompt uh, and how to open a command prompt as well. And using this command prompt only, you can access the Databricks CLI and uh, execute some commands there, right? So there is something called a Databricks uh, command, then space hyphen hyphen help. If you execute this command and if, the, if it is giving all the commands inside the Databricks CLI, that means you have a Databricks CLI successfully installed in your, uh, in your local system or else you should install the Databricks CLI. Please watch my previous video where I explain how to install the Databricks CLI and how to configure the Databricks CLI with the Databricks account. Okay. So now here there is something called Databricks list secrets. So, so if you see inside this Databricks there is something called secrets. Okay. So let us try to go to this secrets command and let me use a help on top of this secrets command to see the available commands inside the secrets utility. There is something called a list scopes. Right. So here let me do one thing. So let me try to use Databricks secrets and let me try to use this list hyphen scopes. This will give me if already any scope is created for my Databricks workspace or not. So my command is getting executed. See, there is no scope created so far. Okay. So now let's try to create a secret scope for my Azure Key Vault account. I have to create a secret scope for this Azure Key Vault account. Why? Because I want to access this secret. Why? Because this secret has my account key information. So how to do that? For that, Go to your uh, uh, Databricks here and inside the Databricks you need to change this URL as I said before. Here you need to use secrets hyphen create scope at the end of your URL. So let us try to use this and hit the enter button. So this is going to open a UI. Here you can create a secret scope. So I will be naming like a test scope is my secret scope name and then uh, manage permissions I am using all users since my if i if my account is a premium one then i can go with the creator also here but let's go with all users because my account is not premium not premium one so here i need to use the key vault account information one is dns name second one is use resource id as i said how you can get this in my past video i clearly said it to get that information go to properties inside the key vault and here you will see something called vault url this is your dns name copy this and go back to your ui where you open the create secret scope for a backed by Azure Key Vault thing you open right. So here paste that DNS name and let us go back to your Key Vault. Copy this resource ID as well. Go back to your notebook. Paste this one and let me hit this create. So what this will do? This is going to create a secret scope which is backed by Azure Key Vault. See it is created successfully. So since we created a secret scope successfully from now on using that secret scope whatever the secrets we have inside this Azure Key Vault I can very easily access it. First, let's go to Databricks CLI and let's try to make sure whether my secret scope which is backed by Azure Key Vault created or not. So let me hit enter here, Databricks secrets list scopes. This should give me all the, see here, it, it is giving me the test scope which is I just know created and this secret scope is backed by Azure Key Vault and this is the Key Vault account in which it can access the secrets. Good. Now what I can do, let's go back to our browser, let's go back to notebook. What I can do is I can very simply do one thing. So let me create a new notebook this time or uh, let me uh, right click this and create. Uh, okay, let me open this notebook to only and uh, let me try to delete the code if I have anything here. So now let's try to set the configuration for my spark once again. Let me copy this code once again for the interest of the time. Let's go back to notebook to here. Let me paste this. Let me attach this notebook to with the test cluster and let me remove the space here. If you see here, this is also like a setting up a configuration for the ADLS Gen2 account using account key. But this time, instead of hard coding my account key as a value here, I am using data DB utilities secrets dot get command to get the value inside the secret which is there inside the Azure Key Vault. Here I need to supply the scope name. So I created a scope called test scope. And then what is the key name? So my key name is ADLS Mahir AK. So inside this key or inside this account uh, or inside this secret only, I have my information saved. So let me paste this here. Now if I execute this code, this is going to set the configuration by reading the account key from this particular secret inside the key vault with the help of this secret scope. So now this configuration is set. Now what I can do, I can very easily read the employees.csv file. I already have the code for that one as well. Let me copy this code and let me paste this code here. Now let's try to execute this code and make sure whether I can able to read the employees.csv file successfully or not. See, see this is how 
you can access the ADLS Gen2 storage accounts using the account keys. So you need to remember one thing, you need to use this piece of code to set the configuration for the account key with the account key information. And whenever you are setting that, make sure don't hard code the account keys information here. Try to save your account keys in Azure Key Vault and then create a secret scope which is backed by Azure Key Vault and then use this Databricks utility, secret utility to get the value from that particular secret from the Key Vault so that right your code is secure you are not uh, hard coding the credentials or sensitive information inside your code so let's go back to our presentation so i hope in that's it in this video i hope you got this video if you haven't got please watch this video two two three times and make sure you watch previous videos before watching this video why because this video has lot of dependency on the previous videos what is databricks cli what is test scope how to create a test scope what is the test scope which is backed by key vault everything right you should know all these things. Then only watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.